Hello, hello. I am finally going live again. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of this, haven't I? I used to do this every day at lunchtime and I have stopped for some reason. But here I am today and I cannot wait to share with you the exciting research that I have done today, you guys. I'm telling you what, if you are anyone with a skeleton, skeletal, uh, neurological, circulatory system, you need to be on CBD every single day of your life because of what it does to the body. It's such an exciting time to be here and to just to, to be on the forefront of this pioneer research that's been taking place um, across the world on not only CBD, um, CBG, all of the cannabinoids that can be found in the hemp plant or the marijuana plant, as well as the endocannabinoid system that is the air traffic control for all of the vital organs and non-vital organs really in our body. It, it is actually air traffic control. It communicates between the organs. It provides that feedback. Um, between them so that it can provide homeostasis for your body. So the endocannabinoid system really provides that homeostasis, the balance in your organs and in your body, and, in, and, and provides that level of optimal health. Let me get a drink here. As you sign on, if you could please just kind of let me know that you're here and where you're from and if you have seen one of my videos before if this is your first time love to kind of connect and get to know who my audience is a little bit um, I know I've been posting a lot of testimonies lately you can go back into my photos and everything and kind of take a look at that so we're gonna go ahead and get started and if you're just hopping on um, thank you drop a little note down in the comment section if you're watching this on replay um, make sure you let me know that too, but we're, we are going to start with the ba basics. So you probably heard all about, you know, pot, marijuana, THC, and all of that, because I'm an 80s child, grew up with 70s aunts and uncles, and so I kind of heard all about the fun they had in the 70s, but this is such a different mindset anymore. The mindset that we have now with the um, CBD is, is totally different. CBD is unlike THC, which is a psychoactive compound, and it's the main factor responsible for your high, but CBD doesn't pr produce the mental effects at all and instead supplies relief to those suffering from pain. In fact, according to the California Organization Project, CBD, um, it's a nonprofit uh, dedicated to promote and um, publicizing research to the medical use of CBD cannabidiol. The use of CBD goes way beyond simple pain relief and scientific and clinical research, much of it actually sponsored by the US government, how, US government, how ironic is that? It underscores CBD's potential as a treatment for a wide range of conditions, including arthritis, diabetes, alcoholism, MS, chronic pain, schizophrenia, PTSD, depression, um, antibiotic-resistant infections, you guys, and other neurological disorders. Um, and we've all seen those videos of those children suffering from um, epilepsy, you know, and the seizures and how they administer the CBD oil and the child within, you know, just a breath is is feeling better and coming down off of that seizure. As a parent myself, I cannot, number one, imagine what it feels like to watch your child suffer like that. And number two, not to have a resource unless you've got your CBD oil in the house. So... I know I've talked about this several times, and if you've been on my videos before, you know about the endocannabinoid system. But for those of you that have not seen one of my videos, let me back up a little bit and talk about the master control in our body that they discovered through research of endocannabinoids, um, I'm sorry, of cannabinoids, CBD, THC, how it relates to the body. And they discovered that we have like this master control system 
called the endocannabinoid system. And the endocannabinoid system is the absolute, I would, I would almost call it the most important system in our body myself because of the research that I've done. It, it is the air traffic control. It's the neurotransmitters that, that take place within your body. It's in every skin cell, every internal cell, every organ of our body. It's also in our brain. There are CB1 receptors in our brain and CB2 receptors in our body. And CB stands for cannabinoid because the cannabinoids from the plant are what feed the endocannabinoid system, whether it's a CBD, THC, CBB, or I'm sorry, C, yeah, CBB, CBG. There's over 80 cannabinoids alone in the hemp plant that provide nourishment and food for the endocannabinoid system so it can control and communicate with all the different systems in the body. So number one, antioxidant. Why is it important that CBD is it? Why is it important that CBD is an antioxidant? And antioxidants are an important part of any nutritious diet and are absolutely essential for maintaining health and proper biological function. An antioxidant is a natural substance that inhibits oxidative, oxid <laughs> sorry, oxidative, I cannot say that, oxygenation, a chemical reaction that produces the free radicals that eventually damage the cells and lead to illness and chronic disease, rheumatoid arthritis, depression, anxiety, dementia. Um, so those cases and those um, illnesses are all caused by oxidation. There, I said it. Um, within the body and that oxidation happens by the chemicals that we're exposed to. So moving towards a toxic free life, having the CBD oil in your body is absolutely vital to optimal health. So what does it mean that CBD is a neuroprotective? As a neuroprotectant, CBD helps reduce the damage to the brain and nervous system and encourages the growth and development of new neurons. How awesome is that? Think about that with dementia patients or Alzheimer patients. Oxidative stress caused by um, traumatic blows, autoimmune and genetic disorders can cause temporary or permanent neuro damage. But studies have shown that CBD is able to protect, protect against this damage and improve recovery. I need a drink real quick, sorry guys. These findings suggest that CBD could be therapeutically beneficial for traumatic brain injuries, TBIs, um, spinal cord injuries, spinal cord disease, stroke. CBD's neuroprotective properties also potentially benefit in helping prevent and limit the pro progression of neurological disorders such as ALS, epilepsy, MS, Parkinson's disease. So. It's those receptors in the brain that is being fed when you give it the CBD or the cannabinoids from the hemp or the marijuana plant. I'm going to focus on the hemp plant because that is the oil that I um, carry. The CBD found in the hemp plant is identical to the CBD found in the marijuana plant. It's just, it's legal because it's from hemp. The CBD from the marijuana plant is not legal, even though it's the same thing. It's kind of like Young Living Oils. They have the Vitality line. So the Lemon Essential Vitality Oil is the exact makeup of the Lemon Essential Oil. One has to be labeled for consumption by the FDA. The other one cannot be labeled for consumption because it's told to be used topically. So much like that, CBD is the same constituent from the marijuana or the hemp plant. It's the same thing. We just can't talk or sell the CBD from the marijuana plant, but the CBD from the hemp plant is perfectly legal. So anyway, these findings suggest that CBD could be therapeutically beneficial for, like I said, the TBIs, um, the Parkinson's and everything like that. So how do, let's move on to arthritis and joint pain. If you have been relying on synthetic medications and pills, this video is for you and it is time you guys to say goodbye to the pharmacy and say hello to healthy choices. I read an article today about the NISADs that um, kill off the good bacteria 
in our gut. And when you have the, ba the bad bacteria as a predominant factor, then you also have other issues going on. Again, increased, um, increased oxidative stress, increased diseases. You can cross over into the blood brain barrier and get into the brain and you know all the diseases and conditions that follow that. CBD affects your immune system, which naturally makes it helpful for an autoimmune um, condition like rheumatoid arthritis. And the science doesn't lie, you guys. A study published by the Journal of Rheumatology from Dr. Sheng Mi Dai of China's Second Military Medical University found CB2 receptors are found in unusually high levels in the joint tissue for arthritis patients. The use of cannabis is shown to fight inflammation in the joints by activating the pathways of the CB2 receptors. Again, activating the pathways, going back to activating the CB2 receptors that feed the endocannabinoid system that put your body in homeostasis. I found an article the other day, or actually this morning, on tooth decay. One of the most common reasons for tooth decay is the oral bacteria in your mouth, and this bacteria lives off of the sugars and starches that you eat. Just like the way it sticks to your teeth and attacks your gum, this bacteria can attack your tooth enamel and cause cavities. With the plaque buildup into tartar, it creates a coat of bacteria that can start eroding your teeth, and the plague can be re the plaque can be removed can remove the mineral minerals that make up your enamel, causing openings, which then are the cavities. So cannabidiol, which is CBD, can help with oral hygiene by regulating the endocannabinoid system as well as honing antifungal and anti antibacterial properties. Um, I shared an article today with a friend about CBD oil and diabetes type 1, type 2. And the endocannabinoid system plays a pivotal role in diabetes. Research showed that type 2 diabetic patients have more elevated levels of endocannabinoids, AEA and 2-AG, than healthy volunteers. So there's an elevation in the endocannabinoid system, endocannabinoid system out of balance, here comes the diabetes. Natural cannabinoids such as CBD have been shown in research to have therapeutic possibilities in helping people with diabetes. It's a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammation that helps reduce the neuropathic pain through the CB1 receptors by halting progression. Awesome. CBD helps reduce oxidative stress, inflammation, cell death, Vascular hypermeability commonly linked to diabetes. CBD for diabetics has been shown to help reduce the need for insulin among patients. I was actually talking to one of my patients this morning and she'd read an article on the CBD oil and how it helps somebody with diabetes. She's not diabetic, but her glucose levels are increasing. And so she's trying to really get control of that. And she started taking the CBD oil, I believe it was the, 50, the 750 full spectrum CBD oil that I carry, and her numbers are dropping. So what does that mean? That means you need to drop a tag in the comment section of someone, gingivitis, diabetes, um, arthritis, any neurological disorders, you name it. CBD was planted thousands of years ago for today, for this purpose, for feeding our body. All right, I'm going to bring this back down here with me again. And I thank those that have hopped on, and I appreciate you so much. Thanks for joining me today. You have a marvelous day. Bye-bye.